All right, so here we've got the porphyry filetti. Uh, it's more, it's the same product as the cobbles, but just in more of a linear format and a bit thicker. Um, so it's, it'll be a stronger product for driveways and things like that. Um, normally you would have about 120 to 150 mil to, to work in because the stone varies in depth. Mm. The product is bed onto a wet bed and some, if you are doing it dry in between, you would have probably, we would use a little bit of tile glue on as well and bed that onto the, the wet bed just for extra strength, but we're actually filling almost to the top. We're only going down probably between five and 10 mil from the top with the grout. So that'll lock it in tight and you won't need any of the tile glue. It'll be strong enough. So basically, yeah, you just, you get your piece and you, you just, it's, it's very much laid like a, a, you would a wallen. So we probably go for something a little bit bigger on this one. And we're just following the height. The joints on this, they, they don't have to be squared off perfect like you would wallen. He wants a very sort of rustic effect. So we're going for just anywhere between a 5 and a 25 mil joint on this one. And we're just following our, bedding it in and following our two gauge rods either side, which are separating the products. And then we're going to flush fill it, scrape it back slightly, which uh, you'll see in a moment. And then it'll be brushed off and a slight acid wash at the end, just to expose all the, the arises of the stone. And that's basically it. So now we're pointing up the porphyry filetti. And it's the same mix that we're using to lay the stone. Uh, once we get it all in the joints and are happy with the depth, we're laying it with about a five to 10 mil drop down in from the actual finished arises of the stone. So we get a nice shadow and all that. Um, we lay it in like that and then let it set and get firm to touch so we can work with it a bit more. And once we get a nice firm, surface we can then um, start following the arrows to the stone and scraping scraping back all the high points so so we expose the expose the joints a bit and get that shadow out so once you're sort of happy with that we uh, clean it off a bit and that's about it